How y'all doing? My name is Chris Stoy with Hutchison and Stoy PLLC. You know, one of the biggest problems people face after an accident is getting the medical care they need, especially if they don't have health insurance or the money they need to pay for treatment. On top of that, more and more these days, we see people who have health insurance, but their health insurer declines to pay for treatment if and when it finds out the injuries are caused by a car accident, truck accident, or motorcycle wreck. In this video, I want to talk to y'all about what to do if you're injured in a wreck, need health care, but for some reason can't get it. Now, let's start with the time period immediately following the wreck. If you're injured after a wreck, don't worry about the cost of medical care. Call 911 and have an ambulance transport you to the hospital. If you're not at fault for the wreck, your emergency room and an ambulance bill should be covered by the car insurance for the at-fault driver or by your own car insurance. Taking care of yourself immediately after the wreck is the most important thing you can do. Don't skip that step. Now, let's move into a period, say, a couple of days to two weeks after the wreck. People often ask me, Chris, what do I do if a few days have passed since the wreck and I'm still in pain? Or, what if I wasn't in pain immediately after the wreck and now I'm hurting? Both of these situations are common. Typically, in scenario one, you go to the ER and the ER providers send you home with prescription medications and they give you instructions to follow up with your doctor or your primary care physician. Scenario two usually happens with the people that we call the tough guys or girls. Uh, these people are involved in a wreck, their adrenaline is pumping so they don't feel pain right away and therefore they don't go to a doctor or a hospital immediately after the wreck. But then, over the next day or so, the pain sets in. In both of these scenarios, we usually always face the same issues. Either A, the injured party has no health insurance or money to pay for the doctor's visits. B, they don't feel like they should have to come out of pocket for treatment or bill their health insurance for the, for the, the car wreck when it wasn't their fault. Or C, their family doctor won't see them because they are seeking treatment for injuries related to a wreck. We can take care of all those problems for you. We can help you find the d right doctor based on your injuries, and we can issue these doctors what's called letters of protection to cover the cost of care. Now, keep in mind, after an injury, it's important that you see the right doctor and not just your primary care physician or family doctor. Our firm has a network of doctors that we work with and that we send our clients to for treatment. You know, sometimes an injured victim's injuries can be resolved through therapy or just simply chiropractic care, but on other occasions, more significant injuries may require a specialist like an orthopedic surgeon. We have contacts in our network with therapists, chiropractors, or orthopedic surgeons, neurologists, plastic surgeons, and a number of other types of doctors who can address your injuries. Under the letter of protection that I talked about, or LOP, the doctors in our network agree to be paid later after your lawsuit or claim is resolved. This helps you get the treatment you need without worrying about the cost up front. In addition, the doctors in our network aren't scared to treat people who have been injured in a car wreck, and, and they've done it before. They know how to uh, handle things the right way. As always, if you have any questions or you need help, give me a shout at 817-820-0100 or you can reach us online at warriorsforjustice.com. Thanks.